Greetings curious viewers, Tool Tips with Tommy here and I'm going to do a follow up video after the unboxing. I'm going to run this saw, uh, run my 7 and a quarter inch brushless circular saw from Bosch. I'm going to go ahead and run it but uh, I'm going to also use the uh, the track. So I also bought the, uh, the Bosch track so you can see it here. And I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run. See how well that track works on some plywood. I'm gonna do some cross cutting on plywood. I'm gonna do some uh, rip cutting on plywood, and then I'm also gonna do some melamine. So if you've ever cut melamine before, you know how how easily that stuff chips and how hard it is to cut uh, with a circ saw without chipping it. So we're gonna try a cut. Uh, spoiler alert: I already did one cut on the melamine, and it actually works very, very well. Uh, I will say that I have upgraded the blade on the Bosch circular saw. It came with a 24 tooth um, ripping blade and I put a really good Diablo uh, Freud blade on there. So um, it should do a really good job. I also did cut the lumber. I've cut a bunch of pieces off the lumber so no problem with the lumber. Uh, one of the nice things about this though is that it can be used as a track saw but it's got great visibility so you can uh, see well. Uh, when you're just using it as a regular seven and a quarter inch circular saw. So um, that's one of the things with a track saw, you can't see very well because they're all shrouded. So you can't see. And my little brother is having some fun inside. So sorry about the noise. And my neighbor's also doing some grinding out front. So he might be making some noise. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to see how well this thing works on the track. Going through some of this plywood. Um, you know with the prices of lumber. I hate doing this with uh, Just scraps, but uh, you know, it is what it is and give you guys some information So if you're looking at something that works as a as a regular seven and a quarter inch a really nice uh, Saw for lumber and you know, whatever you got to do uh, and also will work well as a track saw so um, I've had a Festool track saw which I sold um, and it works it worked well it worked really well um, but I wanted something more versatile and I think this actually is gonna be much more versatile because like I said it uh, it can be used as just a regular saw so let's see there's my dog Trey he's gonna he's he's the uh, he's gonna watch us as well make sure that I'm safe which I'm not but uh, anyway, when you use the tracks, uh, you do have to prep them first. So you have to make your first cut, which I've already done on this track. You uh, do your first cut right on the, uh, where is it? Right along that edge, you cut the rubber. So it's um, like a zero clearance and it cuts a little piece of rubber off. So I've already done that. I've already prepped this one. I do have a, another track in the bag that's new that I haven't done it to, but uh, I don't need to use two. So. Uh, yet, so I'm just gonna. I just did this one, but we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna see how well it cuts. And we'll see how well good this video comes out. Maybe I'll post it, maybe I won't. We'll see, but uh, yeah, so we're gonna give this thing a go. And I'm also gonna use the vacuum to see how well the dust extraction works on the uh, the saw. Once again, a track saw works better because that whole front of the uh, the blade is covered, you know, it's all shrouded up. So we'll see how well uh, dust extraction works on this uh, when we do those cuts as well. So let me put this thing on the tripod. <laughs> and all right, let's give it a go. What do you say, Trey? Should we give it a try? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, one of the cool things I also wanted to point out, I said on my, my unboxing video, it's got green on here. So the green represents where the Festool track goes, right? So you've got this big long groove right here, the white groove, and that's green for Festool. And then blue, it's got that little blue dot right there. I don't know if you can see it in the sunlight, but that blue dot represents this little groove right here and that's what you use for the Bosch track saw. So the Bosch track saw runs along that groove right there. So um, yeah, I like the way they did that. Makes it easy when you line it up, you just look for that little uh, that little color, that little blue, pop it right in the groove. So, all right, let's give it a go.
They're very good. Um, I'll show you guys the cuts. Wow. Okay, so you'd think you'd know, you'd actually you'd anticipate that 62 blade to do really good cuts. Um, but uh, I'll try to get as close as I can so you can see how clean no blowout on either side very very clean and that's on the rip cut or the cross cut I'm sorry that's the cross cut going against the grain and you can see how clean that is and then of course you know the rip cut going with the grain all right we're back I hit a button actually on my DJI Mimo thing so the uh, the rip cut course is going to be really good. That's an easier cut. That one you can do pretty much freehand, but no blowout at all. Really nice. And of course, you know, the track's going to make it nice and straight, so perfect. And, you know, no dust. Very, very little dust. So the dust extraction seems to work really well, too. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, now I'm going to do the melamine again, and we'll see how that works. So let me Put this back on the tripod and get that set up. That'll take a minute. didn't work as well as the first time I did it but uh, focus UF and pull it away a little bit there is a little bit of chipping but anybody who's cut melamine before knows and it's the of course the outside piece that didn't have the rubber on it of course is a little bit worse but uh, oh let's see the one I did yesterday was it this side I think it was this side. You can see very, very clean. So, works really well. Um, not a lot of dust on the saw. So the dust extraction works okay. Not as good. The dust extraction isn't as good, obviously, as you'd find on a standard uh, track saw. Because, once again, like I said, the track saws are fully enclosed. But, uh... Yeah, dust extraction works pretty good on this, and the track capability is uh, phenomenal. I love it. So I don't regret selling my Fest tool because the Fest tool cost me like a thousand dollars, and uh, I've got just as much track here. I've got 120 inches of track, so I can do a 10-foot board if I need to, uh, and the saw, and I actually have a bag to put the tracks in, which I didn't have with the Fest tool. So, uh, all in, I'm about 560 bucks with this, where the uh, Festool, I was, you know, close to a thousand bucks. Not to mention the fact that I can use any seven and a quarter inch blade. I don't have to buy a special, well, I had the eight and a quarter inch 
uh, fest tool saw so those blades were like 50 bucks a pop so these ones are quite a bit less expensive and you can get a really good blade so uh, hope this video helps like I said uh, works great as a track saw it'll also work really good you know I cut this lumber so no problem on lumber tears right through it um, but hope this helps if you got any questions let me know so hope you enjoy the video take care bye